I'm Dustin Cormier, and this is the How to Rock Astrology audio series. The information in this recording is copyrighted by Dustin Cormier, 2015, all rights reserved, except where noted in the recording. The following information on ascendant or rising signs comes from Stephen Arroyo's Chart Interpretation Handbook, copyrighted in 1989 by Stephen Arroyo, published by CRCS Publications in Sebastopol, California. I do not own the following content. Guidelines to Interpreting the Ascendant Although the Ascendant is of deep and pervasive importance for each individual, there is no denying that it must be related to the rest of the chart, and especially to the Sun sign, in order to understand it thoroughly for a particular person. The Sun, after all, is the core identity, the very center of the consciousness, the way we assimilate much of our experience. Whereas the Ascendant, although it varies in importance from person to person, is not as central to the person's nature. It shows, among other things, the approach to life, but the sun shows life itself. The ascendant must serve the purposes, values, and creative goals of the sun for the individual to function happily and fully. A useful tool for understanding how a person's ascendant and sun sign interact is to compare the elements of the two factors. For example, a Cancer Sun sign person with a fire sign rising is usually far more extroverted, forcefully expressive, and confident than a Cancer Sun individual with, say, a more con conservative, self protective Earth sign rising. For another example, an Air sign Sun person with a water sign rising may appear much more emotional than he or she really is, whereas a water sign Sun person with an Air sign rising may appear far more detached and less emotional than he or she really is. It should be pointed out that people are often relatively unaware of their ascendant nature as compared to their sun sign. In that sense, the ascendant is a factor that can be consciously developed further over time and consciously utilized to aid one's self-expression. I have known people who are relieved to find what their rising signs were since it finally gave them a way of identifying a very deep but only semi-conscious tendency in themselves. In some cases, the qualities and abilities symbolized by the Ascendant were just beginning to emerge, and learning the astrological keys to this factor helped personal development greatly. I should emphasize here that perhaps more than with most other factors in the chart, the early environment can encourage or suppress the expression of the Ascendant's energies, since it is a primary channel with which one interacts with the outer world. The reader should view the following comparative evaluations as guidelines and as questions to explore rather than as rigid statements of absolute truth. Capricorn Modality or Quadruplicity The Capricorn Modality is cardinal, the active energy mode. There are exactly four of these active signs in the zodiac belonging to the cardinal modality. These include Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn, and they all share similar characteristics. The four cardinal signs exhibit more restlessness than the other eight signs. There's a sense of, I've got to do something, and a tendency to be enamored by activity for activity's sake. These active signs share the challenge of identifying the source of their behavior. Are they motivated by true inspiration, or are they rushing around because they feel like the crap's going to hit the fan? Or maybe they're trying to avoid feeling lazy and unproductive. The Element of the Ascendant The element of the Ascendant reveals the quality of energy flow directly vitalizing the physical body and the overall approach to life. Fire or air signs rising tend to conduct energy, encouraging active self-expression and dynamic expenditure of energy. Earth or water rising signs tend to conserve and resist the flow of vital energies, and hence indicates self-containment, sometimes self-repression, and the tendency of living within oneself. Earth signs rising, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. A matter-of-fact outlook. Focus on the material world and conservative attitudes can inhibit imagination, which is then allowed to limit the person's options and or restrain spontaneous self-expression. Steadiness and reliability are often well-developed and highly valued by self and others. Practicality and inborn patience give more tolerance for routine than other ascendants show. A systematic approach, usually along established channels, 
is the most common method of expressing oneself. Capricorn Ascendant or Capricorn Rising Capricorn Rising often expresses itself with extreme negativity and skepticism, more often than in Capricorn Sun does. However, one should understand that in both cases, this apparent cynicism and disdain for the new is often a protective cover for a more inquisitive, vulnerable, even spiritually open nature. Capricorn simply does not like to have time wasted on unproven ideas, but practical and logical proof even of unorthodox realities will often be enough to capture their interest and eliminate their automatic skepticism. Although Capricorn's Sun and Ascendant are both extremely concerned with outer form, appearances, and reputation, the Capricorn Ascendant seems to be far more fearful of public opinion, often going to great lengths to appear normal, conservative, and safe. Capricorn's Sun seems to have a greater drive toward achievement and authority, and a more determined approach to worldly success. Capricorn Ascendant sometimes seems satisfied merely with being secure. Both are so impersonal that relations with others are often problematical, although Capricorn Sun is more often than Capricorn Ascendant finds it hard to relate on an even one-to-one -one level. The following information comes from Isabel Hickey's classic text, Astrology, A Cosmic Science, copyrighted in 1992 by Isabel M. Hickey Trust, published by CRCS Publications in Sebastopol, California. I do not own the following content. Capricorn on the Ascendant in early life, has delicate health, but improves as life advances. Sensitive, timid, inarticulate in early life, and suffers from a feeling of inadequacy. Overcomes it through sheer necessity, for there is determination to achieve their goals and purposes in life. Great ambition, and have no peace until they have reached the heights they have set for themselves. Money and position are important. Reserve that often appears to be coldness and makeup. Because they are ethical, righteous, and do their duty, they do not feel that they are critical or cold. All too often they are. As children, always falling and scraping their knees. This is due to poor physical coordination. Later in life, the bumps and scrapes come to the pride. Knees represent true humility, the power to bend. Any trouble with the knees is the outer manifestation of an inner inability to be flexible and flowing. The following information comes from The Secrets of Your Rising Sign by William Lamb with Webb Harris Jr. Copyrighted by William Lamb in 2004, first published in the USA by Fairwinds Press in Gloucester, Massachusetts. I do not own the following content. Capricorn, the wise old goat, is always in charge. With a business is business attitude, people with Capricorn rising strive to earn recognition for their accomplishments. They usually exude a respectfulness that puts them in good stead with their superiors. But they're so calm, cool, and collected that they sometimes wear a face of stone, even exhibiting insensitivity. They believe in take it on the chin and the buck stops here. Capricorn children are often cooperative and easy to raise. They value the approval of authority figures, handle responsibility well, act older than their years, and sometimes delight in bossing people around. They're prone to jealousy. They grow up accomplished, authoritative, and bossy. Do what I say, and don't raise your voice to me. Physical type. Well-defined jawline, sometimes a bony face. Favored colors. Brown, medium, grays. Business-like tones reflecting the Capricorn regard for moderation. The following information comes from Isabel Hickey's Astrology, a Cosmic Science, copyrighted in 1992 by Isabel M. Hickey Trust, published by CRCS Publications in Sebastopol, California. The Significance of the Sun and the Sun Sign in Astrology The symbol of the sun in astrology is a circle with a dot in the middle. This is a very deep occult spiritual symbolism. The circle represents the eternal self, that did not start here and does not finish here on earth. The dot in the middle represents the divine spark at the center of every living cell, the light which lighteth every man with which cometh into the world. It is the point of light at the center of every living cell. In the blueprint, the sun represents the main expression of the individual, the heart and core of beingness. 
The sun has a different effect on individuals born at different times of the year. According to the sign and house in which the sun is placed, we are able to judge the general vitality and physique, the qualities of leadership, and the individual's ability to succeed in life. In a personal chart, the sun represents the basic drive for significance, the will, male relationships and female charts, especially with the father, vital energy coming from the etheric levels and prana, fuel on which the total personality operates, urge for power, constitutional strength, and finally, a powerful sun means very great power to do and to be. Keywords of the sun, will, individuality, spirit. The sun is the significator of the spirit in man, the beingness or isness of life. It rules the basic drive for significance, the will to be. Physically, the sun is the sustainer of life, giver of light, heat, and energy. More than anything else in the chart, it shows the will, man's highest expression. Its aspects show deep character traits, the chief ambitions. It needs aspects to the planets for strength of expression in the horoscope. As the sun moves through the signs, it's return to the sign of its exaltation, Aries, the eastern horizon, marks the beginning of the astrological year. Springtime brings the release of a new cycle of life. As the sun moves through the houses, its return to the eastern horizon is the beginning of the astrological day, sunrise. The sun sign in its element. The following information comes from Stephen Arroyo's Chart Interpretation Handbook, copyrighted in 1989 by Stephen Arroyo, published by CRCS Publications in Sebastopol, California. I do not own the following content. The sun sign's element is usually dominant in considering the overall psychology of a person. This is so because the sun sign's element reveals the attunement of one's basic vitality, identity, and power of self-projection, as well as the fundamental quality of his or her consciousness. The element of one's sun sign reveals the basic inner force motivating everything we do. The element of the sun sign also gives insight into how any individual sees life itself and what expectations they have of the life experience. Scorpio Sun. Scorpio is a water sign. These are the common characteristics of people born with the sun and water signs. Basically motivated by deep emotional yearnings and desires. Recharges energy through intense emotional experience and intimate involvement with people. Interpretive guidelines for the sun and Scorpio. Creative energy penetrates surface experience through intense emotional power and intuition. Needs to express one's transformative energy, often reforming the status quo. Craves for intensity involving the core of human experience, often seeking this in deep, merging, usually highly sexual relationships. Level of vitality is connected to constant inner compulsive desires, sometimes obsessions. Flow of creative expression can be hindered by emotional fixations, reluctance to be open, and fear of losing control. This final article comes from The Secrets of Your Rising Sign by William Lamb with Webb Harris Jr. Copyrighted by William Lamb in 2004, first published in the USA by Fairwinds Press in Gloucester, Massachusetts. I do not own the following content. Scorpio born mid-morning. Scorpio with Capricorn rising. The by the book, trust the system, it works Capricorn personality brings a lot of respectfulness to the Scorpio ego that allows these Scorpios to toe the line a lot better than most. Even drudgery, something most Scorpios don't easily endure, might be tolerable in this combination, as long as there's a business is business reward at the end of the daily grind. Scorpios with Capricorn rising are used to cooperating and equitably manipulating their way to success and approval. They have a masterful sense that started in childhood and continues as adults, and their mid-morning look to the future birth enables them to make useful connections with powerful people. They usually see eye to eye with a boss and have a natural ability to contribute as a genuine team player. As business people, they're often the strong silent types who are quite willing to listen. After all, Scorpio always likes to find things out, 
and Capricorns are naturals and not letting the cat out of the bag. They're often involved in community programs or organizations like Junior Achievement. They diligently do their homework and can produce all the statistics supporting their agenda. They're superb researchers. They jump through all the hoops and legitimately earn a reputation for being in the know. But Capricorn, the wise old goat, always runs the risk of being too serious and dour, and in tandem with a mysterious Scorpio sun, this can lead to tight-lipped, sour grape, power-hungry behavior when there's a narrow perspective and a deficit of self-awareness. They need to remember how to celebrate. Their mid-morning birth always prospers from their networking and joining with common causes. They're humongous contributors, but being too sullen and silent undermines their opportunities. They also need to avoid being vengeful. Because they've often established many valuable connections and accumulated a large amount of resources, they have the power to affect a lot of people, and it's in their responsibility to use that power in benevolent ways. They need to remember it's rarely in anyone's best interests to devote precious time, money, and energy to negative issues that are better forgiven. They need to look to the future, focusing on what they can build for tomorrow rather than what they can destroy to vindicate the past. Working shoulder to shoulder with their colleagues, they can tackle and complete monumental projects from the ground up.